Dan Ives, Managing Director of Equity Research, Wedbush Securities. Dan, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to be here. Uh, so Dan, I would like to hear a first take on this uh, major deal, probably the most important one in terms of costs for Microsoft so far. And, and also, you, by the way, uh, mentioned uh, Microsoft as one of your top 10 picks for 2022. So, so do you think anything changes with this major acquisition? Look, I think ultimately more bullish after the deal, because for Microsoft, the cloud strategy, the enterprise, they've been in a massive position of strength. But the consumer strategy, and Nadella was well aware of this, it's been on a treadmill for the last decade. Activision fell into their lap, stocks been under massive pressure. This is the right acquisition at the right time. I wouldn't say they got necessarily a steal, but no doubt they're not acquiring Activision if they don't have those issues. And I think this is something that could really propel their consumer screening and even metaverse strategy. Uh, yeah, the, in terms of strategy, this is important. On the other side, staking so much in a company facing investigation, internal and external unrest and unknown liabilities. How do you explain that? Look, I mean, they're focused on Call of Duty and, and the franchises that are basically globally golden brands. In terms of a lot of the issues we've seen with Activision, Microsoft will clear the decks. They'll get, you know, so I'm not too worried about that culturally. I mean, they've handled things like that before. And I think investors are really focused on them integrating that into their consumer flywheel. And any of those other issues, I think Microsoft could clearly handle. And I think they recognize that. They, they knew that there was going to be more scrutiny and also antitrust scrutiny. But they feel it's a deal they could get done. And I think you even saw the reaction from the street. I mean, most investors I've talked to view this as bullish step in the right direction on the consumer side. So, so do you think that um, there would be, it will be reasonable to increase their target price in Microsoft? Look, I think right now in this risk-off multiple that we're seeing across tech in a, in a Fed tightening environment, you're seeing all the stocks sell off. But, but I believe Microsoft, when you look at the cloud and where we are, trillion dollars cloud spending over the next four to five years, I think Microsoft's in pole position there. I think the consumer business gets re-rated. And I think going into next year, you know, this is one that's going to be on that sort of march of $3 trillion mark cap. And, and Dan, of course, I just wanted to show you very quickly um, the tech sector, which got hammered in these past few days, specifically Netflix yesterday, off about 3%. And of course, Netflix kicking off earnings season, tax earnings season, by the way, tomorrow after the bell, uh, and setting the pace for 2022 streaming wars. So I was wondering, what are your uh, expectations in terms of Netflix numbers? And specifically, what are you going to be looking for? I mean, probably subscription numbers, uh, numbers in the U.S., numbers in Europe, or anywhere? Look, I mean, right now, I'd say it's the most important tech earnings season we've had in many years. Because in the lack of fundamental news, it's all Fed tightening 10-year macro risk off. Netflix kicks it off. And I, I'm expecting strong earnings across the board for tech. And I think what you're seeing with Netflix, you'll see some moderation of growth in streaming, especially coming out in some sort of semi-normal environment. But these streaming arms race, I mean, this is not gonna slow down. And Netflix continues to see accelerated sub growth along with Disney and along with others, with Apple and, and others sort of chasing them. And I think this is gonna set off tech into a positive tone. I believe we sit here three to four weeks from now, tech stocks are up five, seven percent. Netflix is off about 13% on a monthly basis and off about 5.5% on a weekly basis. In case of negative results in terms of subscription numbers, what are your expectations in regards to market reaction? Look, I think it's one on a name like this. You always have that knee-jerk reaction after the quarter. I think as it gets digested, more investors want to own the secular winners in tech. And I still think FANG names overall are up another 20-25% this year. Now, and, and I think it's one, it will get micro-analyzed in terms of accelerated spending, you know, especially in this broader inflationary backdrop. But I think what you're seeing from a subscriber growth, I mean, Netflix is raising prices and I don't see too many you know, customers canceling. And I think it just shows what we're seeing. It's all about content and, and that's where they sit at the top of the mountain.
And who do you think are going to be their major competitors in, in, in terms of streaming wars? Look, Disney clearly has put themselves in, into an entrenched competitor, Amazon as well. I now the quest, big questions about live sports content. I mean, Amazon bid on the, you know, on the NFL and the Thursday night package. Now there's a lot of questions about Apple. I believe Apple is going to spend billions on live sports programs both from Major League Baseball, NFL, and then a lot of NCAA college and you know, I think other sports around the world. I think that's going to be something we'll see Apple. I think we'll see more Amazon, potentially Netflix and others. So I think that's going to be a real laser focus right now in terms of live sports programming to see how the streaming players bid against the entrenched media players. Dan, final take on tech stocks. Um, so certainly the setting accelerated in the past few days. Do you think we have to buy the dip? Many yelling fire in a crowd theater. Fed tightening. This is it. The tech party's done. I I've heard it for the last decade. And even in an inflationary environment, Fed tightening, a 50 to 100 bit move in the 10 year doesn't change our you know, decade-long bull thesis in tech. I'd be buying the winners in tech. You need a basket, combo value growth themes, software, cybersecurity, Apple, Microsoft, among others. And I, I view this as sort of tech earnings season is going to be a positive catalyst for the sector. Thank you very much. As always, Dan Ives, Managing Director, Equity Research, Wedbush Securities. Thank you, Dan. Have a great day ahead.